Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we will talk about the physical properties of group 2. So firstly, group 2 is also known as alkaline earth metals and the reason behind this name that uh, the reason behind this name is that they form alkaline solution when dissolving water. So if I looked at magnesium, one example of group two elements, it dissolves in water give me, uh, and it gives me magnesium hydroxide which have a basic character. Uh, looking uh, down group two uh, elements moving from beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, you could see that all of them I have the S orbital filled with two electrons where I'm in just increasing the uh, shell number uh, down the group. Now, uh, the metallic radius trend of group 2, before starting the metallic radius of group 2, we will look at the definition of metallic radius. Metallic radius is the, usually uh, the radius that we take for metals, and um, in metallic giant metallic lattice, the ha half the distance between two nuclei will be my metallic radius. So if I have here two nuclei, uh, in metallic radius are, are adjacent in metallic radius half this distance will be my uh, metallic radius now uh, usually in the metallic lattice you have the metal ions surrounded by the valence electrons you could see that the metal ions are swimming in a sea of um, of delocalized electrons this will give a high electric uh, conductivity for group 2 elements also they will have a high thermal conductivity as well now moving to the metallic radius trend uh, down the group 2 you could see that I'm increasing the atomic radius and the reason behind that because moving down the group I'm increasing the number of shells so in here I have the second shell and valence electrons are located in the second shell in here I'm increasing the third then the fourth so I'm increasing the distance between the positive nucleus and the valence electrons uh, and this will just decrease the attraction between the positive nucleus and the, um, the valence electrons leading to the increase in the atomic radius. In here I have the uh, metallic radius uh, values and you could see it just increased down uh, the group. Now for melting points and density trends across uh, uh, down group 2 you could see that uh, I'm increasing the atomic number so I'm exp uh, so usually you expect the melting points uh, to uh, decrease. And uh, the density will just increase because I'm increasing the uh, the size of my um, my atoms, uh, and this size will lead to a higher density. Now, if I looked at the melting points, you could see some irregularity, and the reason behind that is the packing or the arrangement of atoms in the crystal. Uh, so I have uh, uh, three types of uh, packing uh, in crystals. Uh, the first one is the face-centered cubic, and the second is the body-centered cubic, and the third one is the hexagonal closed pack. Uh, uh, the, uh, the ductility is actually decreased from the FCC, to the BCC and I have the HCB is actually brittle. And now you could see that uh, um, in here if I'm decreasing the ductility I'm also uh, decreasing the melting point. Now if I move the, uh, the crystal lattice of beryllium you could see that it is uh, a hexagonal closed pact uh, at room temperature. Also magnesium is, is a hexagonal closed pact. Where in case of calcium you have a face centered uh, cubic. So the face centered cubic usually have a uh, higher melting points than the HCP like we said before. So in here I have decreasing in the uh, ductility. I'm ha I have also decreasing in the melting point. So I expect the uh, uh, FCC to have a higher melting point than the HCP and this is actually what happens because calcium here is uh, um, uh, face centered this is why it have a higher uh, melting point than in case of magnesium which is actually a hexagonal uh, closed packed and uh, uh, if we further uh, try to interpret the reason behind the higher melting point of beryllium, this is because the small uh, metallic uh, uh, radius of beryllium, because it's very small, it is very, uh, the packing is just uh, close together, and this will give it a higher melting point. 
Now, if I've, I moved it to the density trend, there's also the irregularity in the density trend. So I expect them it should have been all of them are increasing in the density uh, down in the group. But I have this drop with calcium. And uh, the reason behind that, it is uh, because calcium has a phase centered cubic uh, crystal lattice, which includes only 14 atoms. Uh, where I have in case of uh, beryllium and magnesium, uh, they are HCB, which means uh, I have 19 atoms included in my uh, lattice. So the higher the, uh, the, atomic, uh, the atoms in my uh, lattice, this means I have a higher density. This is why in that case, I will have um, beryllium and magnesium will have a higher density than in case of calcium. By that, we came to the end of the first part uh, in the physical properties of uh, group two. Next part, we will talk about reactions of uh, group two elements. Until next video, thank you and goodbye.